We're exploring the beautiful Jabal Akhtar and the abandoned villages of Birkatul Moz. To prove that I'm right, this is Anantara. One thing you notice as you get in is the drop in temperature. It's instant and it's really nice and refreshing. My last stop in Oman was the beautiful village of Misbah Labrayeen, followed by the Jibreen Castle and then the Pearl of Islam, Nizwa. If you want to find out more, click on the link above. Sabal Khair from beautiful Nizwa. I'm heading to Jabal Akhtar today and I have a little surprise for you. So let's go check it out. We are making a quick stop on the way to Jabal Akhtar to see these beautiful abandoned villages. This behind me is the village of Berkatul Moz, which meant it used to have a lot of banana trees, which obviously have been replaced with dates now. And it is a fascinating place because from this one viewpoint, you can see three gorgeous abandoned villages, one that I absolutely love, you know, the, the actual mud uh, thing, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So you don't want to skip this at all. At the time, people would skip villages for different reasons. People would get married and then, you know, every time you get married here, you get some land and you work on it. So either they moved out or they moved to the cities or there was no water and it became dry or it was simply that it was too dangerous to live here. And this is the story of these, this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous village. And the, if you see, you can see a few watchtowers and they make it even more amazing. Absolutely love this place. And this is just the start of the day. We are going to make another stop at the Filaj before heading over to Jebel Akhtar. I'm going to walk a little bit through the date farms and one thing you notice as you get in is the drop in temperature. It's instant and it's really nice and refreshing. Amazing. definitely recommend stopping and taking a little walk through these farms it is really nice there's something really serene about this place Oman is full of surprises and I'm sure you want to see more than just this video so I created a full playlist. Click on the link above and check it out. This is village Al Khatmain which is one of the village. This village refers to the canals of the channels and this is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. So this is a channel that's running on gravity only. There's no pumps or anything. So it comes from the mountains and it runs all the way. It supplies water to villages and farms. And it's actually quite nice. This point especially because you can see the channel divided into three and then being re-channeled into different parts. And it's a quick stop, so why not? If you fancy, you can even shower here in the clean water.
We are definitely heading to Jabal Akhtar this time, I promise. For Jabal Akhtar, you need a 4x4 car, otherwise they will not let you up. Although it's all an asphalt road, it's more for coming down because if you rely just on your brakes, they're gonna fail. It's a long road, so you need a 4x4 and they have a checkpoint for that. Ta-da! I am in Jabal Akhtar now and Jabal Akhtar literally means the green mountain and it happens when it rains a little bit all this greenery springs up especially in summer and that's really nice so it's a really beautiful mountain that was closed to public for the longest time until they built the road it's still quite a restricted area you can't take photos and videos in a lot of places because they have military training camps there because of the difficult terrain armed people like armies from all around the world including British Army come there to train amazing so um, this is Wadi Bani Habi which is my first stop here and it's really beautiful I heard so much about this place and I definitely wanted to come and do a little visit here so it's a beautiful Wadi a Wadi literally means a valley in Arabic and it's a little gorge and if you want you can go all the way down to this abandoned village which uh, has been abandoned since like I believe 1988 and it's really beautiful I mean it's 200 steps and I'm a little hungry so I think I'm gonna keep going there because we have some more villages to see after and yeah just take in the beauty and then head to a special spot but I'm not gonna tell you what let's get there and we'll talk about it there Ta-da! We are here at my surprise spot and this is Anantara Jabal Akhtar. Hello from my surprise for today. I am in a beautiful resort. And ever since I saw it on BBC, I have been in love with this place and it's just defied all expectations, even better than the filming that I saw there. I am in Anantara, Jabal Akhtar, and this is a stunning spot from the pool to the little fallage to the view of the entire valley. This place is just incredible, even better than what I saw on TV. And if you get here, do make some effort to come here, whether it's for coffee or for lunch. And if you can, do stay here. I unfortunately don't have enough time, so I won't be able to do that. But a visit here is a must, honestly. And what I really like is, if you look at it from the other side, you wouldn't be able to spot it because it's made to blend in the nature. And oh my God. All right, let's not talk about it, but we can actually see it. So let's go do a little tour. It is a five-star luxury resort in every single sense of the word. Absolutely incredible. Time for some lunch. We're gonna try some pasta and steak with this amazing view, which I will show you in a minute. Don't get impatient. Are you ready for that view? I promise you, you will not forget it. 
I certainly haven't. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell button so you can see some more amazing travel adventures every week. When I first laid eyes on this valley, I just couldn't say anything except wow for such a long time. I stood there for ages just, just looking at how beautiful this place is. There are so many cute little villages dotted on these hills and so many terraces that are all used for agriculture. Incredible. Because I'm such a huge fan, I've been granted access to one of their villas and I want to look around and I'm super excited. Let's go check it out. Oh my God, mind absolutely blown. You get your own villa with your own pool and a view that's just exclusive to you. This beautiful wadi and you get to see an amazing sunset in your own pool. Oh, I wish I had more time to stay here. Now I'm really regretting not staying here, but wow. And I think because it's in Oman, so there's like full privacy, you get your own pool and there's no one else to get to. See you, oh my god, this is incredible. Like I said, mind absolutely blown. It is time to say goodbye to the amazing staff in Antara and head to our next stop, which is going to be our last. And there are a few cute little surprises there as well. Let's go. To prove that I'm right, this is Anantara and look how beautifully it blends into the mountain. Absolutely love that. So I'm at the last stop. This is the village of Alain and we will walk around, explore this a little bit more before heading back to Muscat. We literally entered the village and stopped at this little viewpoint, which is actually someone's roof and had the best view of all these terraces, including Anandara. We are going to explore this beautiful village on foot, but one thing I would recommend is not to peek into someone's house because it's considered really rude and obviously be careful when there are ladies around. It is still a very much old style Omani village and you will see all these stone houses. The streets are cobbled as well and it's just so nice and refreshing not to see a very manicured place. These behind me are the rose fields and if you come here in April you can see how the roses are harvested and rose water is distilled here. I really wanted to see it, but unfortunately January is not a season and I could barely, you know, I'm lucky actually that I can see a few leaves on these as well. So if you come here in January, uh, sorry, in April, that's the thing to do.
I really regret not spending more time here, but sadly, it is time to go back and I need to catch my flight tomorrow. So I'm gonna head back to Muscat because it's a little bit of a drive and we need to get there before it gets dark. It is time to head to Salala, one of the hidden gems of Arabia. Click on the link above and meet me there. This is Brown Boy Travels. I really hope you like this video. Do let me know in comments what you think. Please do add me on Instagram and TikTok. I do post some pretty cool stuff there as well. I will see you in another beautiful destination in the next video. Until then, you have a lovely day ahead. Bye.